I'm about 18 or 19 years old at the time. So this is roughly about 2006, 2007. All of a sudden, I'm taken out of whatever dream I'm having and I'm transported to the spirit. When I'm in the spirit, it's a feeling of being out of your body, but in your body. It's, it's almost like an in-between type of thing. I'm back at the old, I'm back at the apartment building I grew up in. Right beside the apartment building I grew up in is a graveyard. I'm running through this graveyard, top speed. Something is chasing me and I know there's more than one. As I'm being chased, I am completely terrified and trying to get away from whatever is trying to get me. All of a sudden, this baby appears in my hand. This isn't no regular baby. This is a demonic, gremlin-looking thing. This is the part that I don't like to recall of this experience and it's hard for me to talk about at times. This thing had a bone structure where the bones were popping out of its face, but the skin was sunken in. The eyes were completely blacked out. And the thing I remember the most, like it just happened, was the teeth. The teeth looked just like shark's teeth. How sharks have, what is it, like three, four rows of teeth or something? This thing had the same thing in its mouth and the teeth were razor sharp. It had this weird cry coming from it. It was doing these weird type of movements. It was very disturbing. All of a sudden, the dagger appears in my hand. These voices start rushing in with this, this laughing also. And I kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then I go to take it out. I snap out of it. I was so disturbed by this that it took me a while to process. And when I say a while, I know it was probably well over two weeks or so. I didn't talk about it, but it was constantly on my mind. I came around to the realization that I was in hell. This wasn't no regular occurrence that happened. This wasn't just some dream. This wasn't me just overthinking or imagining something. I was in hell. What I seen there and what I experienced there, I've never experienced in my life. Even to the point where, you know, maybe some people may watch a TV show or a movie or something and then, you know, it might pop up later. Nothing, nothing like that. All of this was completely brand new to me. I couldn't even think of it creatively on my best day. Second time that I got brought to hell was about a year or two later. Now when God sends me dreams, it's like he'll snap me out of whatever I'm dreaming about at first and he'll put me right where he needs me to be. And when this happens, he's taking me over to the spirit. This is what happened. And it's like I literally felt him snap his fingers. And when that happened, I felt my body. I can, I can recall it like it just happened. I felt my body hit the ground, boom. I was crouched down like this. I was holding myself at some points. I was looking around. I was trembling. My whole body was trembling but I couldn't get up and move. I couldn't speak. I couldn't do anything. I was stuck here. As I'm kneeling here, I notice I'm in a cell, but this cell is like it was carved in a mountain or something. It's, it's all stone. I look behind me, there's an empty throne carved out of smooth stone but it's the, the color of the, the cell, which was like a blackish brown. I look beside me. There is a pile of bodies, mutilated, 
bodies. Maybe, I don't know man, six to eight feet tall. Just piled right on top of each other. But I look to the front and I see the opening of the cell that I'm in. There's this black smoke whooshing by, but in between I can see a yellow and orange glow. And I knew right then and there, I was in hell. This wasn't like the first time where, as it's happening, I didn't know where I was. This time around, I knew where I was. I had a sense of hopelessness and that I was stuck and there's nothing I can do. As soon as I realized that and, and it came to me where I was, I snapped out of it. These experiences I held on to and I've only told a few people here and there. Hell is something I would never want to experience ever again. Even if God was like, listen, I need to show you something as a message, I would tell him like, <laughs> all due respect, please, no. I, I've dealt with witches in the spiritual, demons, seen demons manifest in the physical. I've had, I've been blessed with a lot of supernatural experiences, good or bad. Hell is something I never want to experience under any circumstance. Not at all. I, I do not want to experience it ever again. Even after those two experiences, I kept living the sinful lifestyle I was living. It was a warning for me to stay away from certain things and also that I need to come back to God. Stupid me at the time didn't listen. I kept going. Fast forward to 2022. God showed me, this is your last chance or else I'm gonna hand you over to death. That's a story for another day. For those that are like me that have had this experience, I feel as if there's been an urgency placed on us to start sharing it. People have been sharing their experiences throughout the years. This is the first time I'm getting on camera and sharing mine. Hell is not what the media makes it out to be. That is just this cute place distant from heaven. There is no presence of God there. You will be consumed by fear. You will be in eternal torment. One thing that I know from my experiences of being in the spiritual, there is no time. Time ceased to exist. It's something that I can't fully explain in terms that everybody can understand and break it down to a, a simple point, but there is no time there. You know you're stuck there forever. These experiences come with a warning. Those of you that are, have the title Christian, it's time for you to stop having it as a title and to start making it your way of life, your lifestyle. It's time for you to start walking in obedience. It's time for you to come back to Jesus Christ and put your faith in him, to walk in the will of the Father. You can't be eating from his table, dabbling in messing with this man or woman, shacked up with this man or woman, engaging in sexual immorality. You can't be messing with, with adult websites. You can't be indulging in the drugs and the alcohol and the partying, getting into all the worldly music that you know is not good, getting involved in all the worldly movies that you know is not good, and whatever entertainment that is not of God. You can't be indulging in things to the point where they become an idol and you're spending so much time with it that it's driving you away from spending time with God, social media. You can't be so consumed with yourself that everything is a selfie. Everything is look at me and look at what I'm doing. And you're driving yourself further away from God. It's time for you to stop bearing the title Christian and actually be a Christian. For those that aren't believers, 
I would strongly suggest you evaluate your lifestyle. Take heed to the words that I'm saying. And there's many others that can give you experiences that are far more vivid than mine. I'm glad I didn't have those. Take heed to it. Reconsider how you're living your life. Reconsider that whatever you're on this earth, your reward will be that in the afterlife. And your reward that comes from the devil that you will reap in hell will be eternal torment. A complete distorted version way more torturous of what you've been doing here on earth. The key to salvation is repentance through Jesus Christ. There's nobody else that's going to save you. Nobody else that's going to get you out of the clutches of death. So I leave this here and I say, turn to him, seek him. Repent, get your relationship right, turn away from these worldly things. Because when it comes around to your time, you're going one or two places. And I would hope that this message impacted you enough that you would want to make the right choice and go to the right place with the Father. Shalom.